All right, what up, y'all? It's Matt. So I just got back from the Honda Suzuki Yamaha dealership, and I got a bag of goodies here for working on the Vincent motor. So we're going to go back in the shop over here and see what's in this bag. So, yeah, I just got back from the dealership. Um, I got some fun stuff for us. So uh, let's see what we got in this bag here. showing too without showing too much we got Honda Bond HT right here um, I'll go over this stuff here in a second and then we got Honda Bond 4 right here now this stuff is the same stuff as a uh, Yama Bond or 3 Bond you know it goes by a ton of different names it's not the same stuff as that black permatex that uh, I hate so much, you know, the silicone. Um, that's not what this stuff is. This, is, These are different products. That's kind of what this is. But going off the Suzuki service manual, it calls for Suzuki Bond 1207B. I know, right? Where are you going to find that? So I did a bunch of digging and stuff. And uh, let me sit up straight here. Kill my back. I'm going to be here all day. Um, so I did a bunch of digging and stuff. And basically... The Suzuki Bond that I just mentioned, the 1207B, is made by a company called 3Bond. And basically, this stuff isn't like silicone. It's more like clay-y based, tries to fill the gaps between, uh, you know, the crankcase halves and stuff, from what I learned. And um, it was like 20 bucks a tube, basically. And I would have to wait a week and a half to get it. So I needed alternatives. So... I did some research and basically Honda Bond and Yamaha Bond are the same exact thing. The only difference is they um, are gray and not black and they're cheaper, pretty much. So my dealership only carried Honda Bond. I went to a motorsports dealership and you can see Honda Bond for, hopefully you can see it good enough. and then Honda Bond HT. So this is gonna be for the valve cover gasket that you have to make the valve cover um, because it doesn't have a valve cover gasket or but it's, like a, it's like the cam clamp and a valve cover gasket all in one. And then this Honda Bond 4 is gonna be for sealing the case halves. So I got the motor in front of me right here and I need to get this thing uh, I'm gonna dry fit it, there's a wasp flying around here. I'm gonna dry fit it a couple times, and then, um, you know, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this Honda Bond stuff, the Honda Bond case half sealant, and I have the diagram from the service manual, it shows exactly where to put it. So, you don't want a huge bead of this stuff because like, the case halves are machined pretty much perfect, and what we wanna do is, we just want to fill that tiny, tiny, tiny gap in between it, you know, like paper thin gap in between it so it won't leak. So the so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this stuff and squeeze it out and um, rub it around with my finger or a toothpick or something and just get a light thin coating on both halves because that's what the manual says to do and then uh, stick it together and tighten it down. All right, so uh, one more tip here before we get started. I know I'm running my mouth, but this is really important. You know, it's so deep in the motor that if you don't like this, I'll put timestamps and you can skip to just putting it together. That's your thing. But, you know, if you want some information, then listen to what I'm saying here. So don't just use RTV silicone gasket maker. That's not what we're going for here. It's all going to squish out. The whole idea is to fix the little imperfections. And we're talking, you know, I don't know, tens, hundreds of thousands of an inch, you know, gap that we're just trying to fill in to make sure it doesn't leak. So I'll put links to this stuff in the description. Honda Bond 4, Yama Bond 4, uh, Suzuki Bond 1207B. I'll put links in the description to all of that stuff so that you can find it down there because it can be a challenge to find locally. You know, a lot of the dealers didn't even have 
what I was looking for, but thankfully they had this. So I'll put links in the description on Amazon. If y'all need some, get it from that link. The link's down in the description. If you buy it, um, it's the same price and it helps my channel out a little bit because these videos cost money to make. So help me out and I'll make more videos. All right, with that being said, no RTV silicone goop. Um, Permatex makes one that I've heard that are gr that is gray and it uh it's gray and it's called Moto Seal or something probably the same thing. This tube was eight dollars. This tube was fourteen dollars. This is the high temp areas, and this is oil gasoline uh, resistant. This is the case half sealant. So I know y'all are big on sealants and stuff. I'm gonna dry fit this whole motor here. And I'm gonna try to fix my lighting, but I'm gonna dry fit this whole motor here, and then we're gonna put this thing together. All right, so I'm going to put these case halves back together now, and I wanna show y'all all the tips that the service manual says for um, the Suzuki Vincent or Arctic Cat 500, it's the same motor. So the tips are, you see this little notch right there, that has to be up like that. It has to be up like that right there too this bottle out of the way there's a C ring in here it's like that okay that has to be in here now the service manual doesn't tell me if it matters which way it goes I think it doesn't really matter it just holds the bearing in place it kind of annoys me because it wobbles this way so I might put it sitting like that so it's on each case half but I feel like that thing's just gonna move around in there it's just gonna sit where it wants to sit anyways I don't know that's the only thing um, I'm not too sure of. All right, so there's three shims. One right here, one right here, one right here, and I already took the springs and detents out because I didn't want them to fall into the motor. There's no shim behind this shaft, and you can look at the service man or the um, parts diagram to see exactly what goes where. And then let's see what else is there that I remember. Okay, these timing marks right here, These I never took this apart, but if you did, See these two uh, dots right here? They have to line up for it to be good. This gear goes on here like this. Um, this is all pushed down in here good. There's a dowel pin here, here. This one was missing on my motor, so I pulled it off the top and put it on here. I don't know why it was missing, but it was, and I wanted it there, so I got one there. Then there's one here, but the most important thing is these little pins right here they have to be up see that notch right there um, and then this case is flat so it, it holds the bearing uh, oriented like that so I guess so it doesn't spin in the race or spin in the case but those have to be up and then let's see if there's anything else here I never took any of this apart um, it says to put all the the dowel pins in the big side case this right here, okay, where is it? Um, this, it's the oil pressure regulator. So this thing screws in right here. And I'm gonna torque it to spec. It doesn't say to put any Loctite on it, but I might anyways. Um, I think it's prevented from falling out because you see this thing right here, if it comes unscrewed, it can't come out because it touches on that from what I've seen. But this thing right here, if it goes bad, it um it allows the excessive oil pressure to dump back into the crankcase and what you do is what the manual says to do is you stick on this end it's just a spring and then like a it's like a check valve kind of it's a spring and then a flat piece of metal in there you push it in there and then um clean it out i already cleaned it I already blew it all out with brake cleaner but you push it in there to see if it works right and if it doesn't work right, I've read on forums before where some guy had to replace one. It doesn't, um, the oil pressure is way too high. It's like 60 PSI or something. It can't relieve the oil pressure. So it'll cause the engine to smoke because um, it'll overpressurize the rest of the oil system. So that's really important. And yeah, I can't see anything else that I can think of. Um, the main thing is just making sure these bearings are oriented how they're supposed to be. So obviously I gotta go through and I'm gonna get some brake cleaner acetone and I'm gonna um you know get everything spotless. I mean absolutely spotless. So the pattern to put the sealant on here is you don't go around that one. Um it's showing, you know, you go here, go here, it's just showing on the outside or the inside rather, but I'm gonna smear it all around. You go here, stop, 
go around here, go around here, stop, and um, you're going to have to look at the service manual to see exactly what the pattern is, but it's basically just go around the case halves. Um, you don't go on here. That's for the case crankcase breather, I guess. Yeah. You don't go on here. Don't go on here. Don't go on here. Just the outer rim, and you skip that. So I know that's model specific, but if anybody's doing it, they're going to want to know. And then I'm just going to clean everything up with acetone here, and we're going to put some goop on it, and then we'll have the case half sealed. All right, guys, so it's time to seal this thing up now. So I have my bearing pins up. I have this thing. I saw in the manual it said, take note of this, and it was pointing like that, and the end of the fingernail was right here. So I'm just going to rock it like that with half of it like this, with half in that case and half in this case. It makes more sense to me. Dots are good. Shim one, two, three. This is all meshed. We're opening this and we're gonna seal it up. Honda Bond four. Wipe off any moisture, dirt. Oh, I already cleaned everything with acetone like twice. Um, wait one minute, then join two surfaces. I'm gonna put it on both halves. I'm gonna show you all this half and not the other half because it's behind me. Please don't use Permatex for this. All right, well, let me get this bolted back up. All right, so that Honda Bond stuff is really weird. I've never used a sealant like that before. It was like a mix of paint, like adhesive, um, solvent, plumber's putty, and if you mixed all that stuff together and then spread it extremely thin and let it dry, it was like that. But it wasn't really dry. It was like clay. I don't know. It was really weird, but it's definitely what you want to use for this application. So... When I spread the first half and then the second half, I had to beat the heck out of the motor because I thought it was going to set up fast, but it dried because I was holding it. It was like dry paint. I don't know. It was weird. I think that's why it says let it sit for like a minute. So I guess it, it tacked up around, it flashed over on one case and then on the other case too. And then when I put it back together, the excess squeezed out. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. It's the next day here and I got it all... Uh... It's all done here. It's all sealed up. All the bolts are in and torqued down. And this stuff, God, this stuff is weird. I know I keep going on about this sealant, but it's weird. It's not just like silicone. It's like, 
it's almost like a uh, clay. That's why I guess why they say it's a non-hardening because it stays in there and doesn't get hard and brittle. But yeah, that's definitely the absolutely purpose built, like purpose made stuff for this application. Definitely don't use silicone or anything else. This is totally 100% different. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. So this is pretty much done for today. Um, I'm waiting on gaskets and oil seals because that's the next step. Um, I'll put links in the description to all the parts I use in this video. You know, the Honda Bond, so y'all can check it out down there. I'll put links to Honda Bond, Suzuki Bond, Yama Bond, any other Bond I can find on Amazon. So check out those links um, if y'all want to get some of this stuff. And uh, that's going to be the end of this part. Like I said, the next part is me putting gaskets and oil seals. I'll link to it up here, up here, and in the description so y'all can check it out. You already know what to do. Drop me a huge thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more uh, four-wheeler uh, fixing madness. Hey!